I've been using the online browser Arc for just over a year now, so I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about it and see if I would recommend it to you guys. I'm Isaac Jarnigan. I run a marketing agency in central Iowa. I'm the creative lead there, so I'm always dealing with video, camera, you know, recording things, turning it around, editing, planning, posting, and all that. So I'm really everywhere on the digital end, and I'm always prioritizing how I can save an extra few seconds or uh, make everything a little more organized to make my life a little more hectic during this startup journey, which it is hectic no matter what. I've been using Arc as my primary browser. What is a browser? Other browsers are like Chrome, Safari, Firefox, if that still exists. That's what a browser is. Today, I'm just going to give you my honest balanced review of Arc after a full year, what stands out, what falls short, whether it's the right browser for you. This is not an in-depth look through, although they do do a really good job showing what they're updating. I don't read it. If you want an in-depth review, that's not me. I'm just kind of the common consumer and what I notice if that makes sense. I'm just going to format this with main points. So number one main point is just the awesomeness of this sidebar. Really dig this sidebar. Let's break it down a little bit. This top end, you got like little widget looking buttons here um, that are a little bigger with the app icons. And I put all of my most used uh, websites that I, I use on there. Um, so you'll see I have Notion here. My to-do list called Todoist right here. I have Email, Calendar, Spotify, and Discord are my pretty much my top used uh, websites. One of the massive changes I did after a few weeks of using Arc was I deleted some of my uh, on-computer applications. So like Notion has a desktop app, Discord has a desktop app, Spotify has a desktop app. Deleted them. I didn't love how I had to go to the bottom, click that bar. I just kind of loved how I always kind of have my browser open and I can use the online websites uh, as those buttons a lot faster rather than you know going into each individual app. That's probably incredibly stupid for a computer speed side of things, but for a save an extra few seconds a day, uh, I've been loving this. Performance wise, if you don't have these clicked open, it won't actually be open on your computer. It's just kind of like a shortcut. So don't be worried about that. Um, it's, it's really nice. Moving into this next section is kind of like your bookmark tab i have like kind of less used things and this is this hasn't been organized for a while so this is a really raw look at it but i have, I have my content calendar I have my financial apps and then i have like you know what i use for ai thus far which is these four these are also like bookmarks so if you don't have it clicked open it will take a while to load and open the website but it's pretty fast and then you can close and keep it pinned. It's just a pin. It's just a pin. That's what it is. And then here's like your actual like, all right, I want to open a new thing. So we can search Utah, see what comes up, blah, blah, blah. And then they're all right here. What's really nice. That's not available on Chrome, which was the last one I used. So you can clear all of them at once besides the one you have opened. Like that's a really, really nice thing. So if you got like a million tabs open like an idiot, you can close them all in one go. Also, you will notice that Arc is just the browser. It's not a search engine. They still use Google as a search engine. And why might you want that? It's so you can use all of your like Google um, extensions, Chrome extensions, like Honey or Grammarly. Or I like one where you can click on any font. And it'll tell you what font size, what font type it is and all that. All still usable. You're not ditching your Chrome extensions to try out a new browser. Super nice. Adaptation and learning curve. It's been a while since I felt like I've had to learn Arc, but I'd say it'd take a few weeks. This sidebar was really annoying because obviously I was really used to doing the searching the top bar, which was kind of annoying at first. I mean, you can lock this if you want to, but then it stretches this display and it'll make uh, websites look a little weird sometimes. But uh, that could be an annoying factor when it comes to adaptations, but not bad. Productivity features, they've, they've tried to make it more effective for the average user and they've positioned themselves that way as far as extra features i'm really only looking at this sidebar as things i've used um, there's some other features like esols which i believe they've discontinued yep spaces so you know i had my workspace you can also make a personal space and you can swipe and you can use that one um, I haven't found any major use for that. I mean, I tried using it, but I just kind of like having them in one space instead. I don't even know what boosts is. Like I said, I don't pay attention. They try to position themselves. One, one major thing I also saw was uh, their, their new mobile app. 
um, which is kind of cool. I highly recommend you go and try that out. I haven't used it enough to see it, but you can kind of get the feel of when you get that mobile app, you can kind of see they're really um, enhancing it for the user experience in a unique way. Performance and stability, I've actually had uh, zero issues from what I can see as the common user. And I also have been running all my programs through this browser as well and haven't had any problems. So I wouldn't be worried there. Um, I know Chrome's gotten some slack in the past for taking up a ton of performance, but Arc's been pretty good to me. Last kind of point is the community around it and the updates. They're new, so they're always rolling out new crap and trying new crap and trying updates, keeping around what works and getting rid of what doesn't, kind of like that easels feature, but it's never interrupted the main workflow. Me being in the marketing niche, I really, really appreciate what they do. Like this is their website. Look how sick this is. Their newsletter would be good to be a part of. They're always doing fun content on Twitter and all that. There's a cool community around it. What's another good thing? You can tell these guys have a fun time and they do good work. Um, not saying you need to use their browser, but um, that is an appreciation feature of me personally. I probably should have just called this video the arc sidebar as that's really the only thing that I've really taken that I haven't um, used anywhere else, but I appreciate a team of people trying to figure out a new way to navigate the web as I feel like it's getting outdated a little bit. I'm not head over heels bowing to this, but it is an exciting option for those who value a little bit more customization and productivity. If you've tried ARC or have questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, check out all the resources below. I am always love interacting, trying new things, learning about new workflows, and uh, interacting with you guys, so let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and tranquility.